goals of the type URL destination have a unique ability that none of the other goal types provide. Beyond being able to define a target URL for a goal and a value achieved when that goal is reached, URL destinations can also define and track the intermediate URL destinations called steps that must be traversed to reach that goal. You can even specify that you only consider a user entering the funnel if they have passed through the first step in the funnel so that users who skip to intermediate steps in your funnel are not counted. Let's look at a conceptual example derived from the sample website. Say we have a bunch of visitors arriving at our landing page. We are interested in defining a goal for how many of them actually sign up. We can say a user has signed up when they have viewed the thank you page. Therefore, in our funnel, thank you.html is the goal URL destination. With landing page HTML being the first step and the second step in the funnel, respectively, is signup.html. For our purposes, we can, but are not forced to, say that visitors only enter the funnel if they have entered with landing.html. As visitors progress from landing HTML to sign up and finally to thank you, we call them conversions. In this case, because they've gone from ordinary visitors to paying customers. What we have created here is a funnel that visitors must flow through, much like the funnel you might use to fill your car's oil. Some visitors might lose interest and abandon the funnel, but hopefully we see visitors coming out at the other end having completed the goal as conversions. Naturally, your goal as a website operator is to build funnels that lose as few potential customers as possible. This tracking of funnel activity is best visualized using the funnel visualization and goal flow reports that Google Analytics provides. In fact, the funnel visualization report looks remarkably like this conceptual funnel. We'll look at those reports next. Let's start with the end goal in mind, looking at the funnel on the sample website, then looking at the result in the sample report in Google Analytics, and finally, how we configure that funnel within Google Analytics. So let's say we have users arrive at our free trial landing page. We want them to click through the link to try it free for 15 days. From there, we take them to a purchase page where they can decide what they want to buy. Hopefully we've excited them enough. And if all goes well, they'll click purchase. At which point they'll be brought to our thank you page where they can download their uh, antivirus software. Let's look at the sample report that would show this type of activity. We'll click on the standard reporting tab in Google Analytics expand the conversions section, and then click on the goals to expand that section and click the funnel visualization report. We're going to adjust the period to make sure that it's our period of interest, August 20th to August 28th. And we'll make sure that the goal we are visualizing is our one goal of interest that they have bought into the trial. Scrolling down, we can see the funnel visualization. This report shows us the number of visitors that entered, 16, and exited, in this case, first step, one at each step, and the number of those that move on to the next step. So for the, this first step, 15 of them moved on. At a glance, we can see that we had 16 visitors come in and view the free trial offer, 15 of which got to the page asking for payment details. And then all 15 of them actually bought the free trial. At this, as this goal is one very useful metric, you'll notice we had a 93.75% funnel conversion rate. This means from start to finish, 93% of visitors are buying based on our free trial offer. This is a phenomenal conversion, perhaps a little unrealistic, but phenomenal nonetheless. So let's look at how we configured this funnel in Google Analytics. From the admin tab, we click on the goals tab. 
Here you can see the four goal sets and any of the 20 goals you may have defined across them. For new goals, you would click on the plus goal link. But since we've already defined the goal, we'll click on buy trial to explore how we configured it. After giving the goal a descriptive name, like buy trial in this case, and of course ensuring that it's active, we choose the goal type. Because we want to define a funnel, we must use the URL destination type. Below that, we specify the URL of the page that when reached indicates a goal completion. So that's why we entered slash thank you dot HTML. Beneath that, we specify a match type of head match, which means that the goal is any access to the URLs that start with thankyou.html. This is typically the option selected as it ignores any additional query string parameters that might follow the page name in the URL. Other options are available, we'll stick with this one for now. We'll leave the comparison mode to case insensitive by leaving the ch this checkbox unchecked, and we'll leave the goal value set to zero. Now we're ready to, define, to start defining the goal steps within the funnel. First, we check the use funnel checkbox. For step one, we enter freetrial.html in the URL column and a descriptive label to use when displaying the goal step in reports under the name column. In this case, the URLs for our steps will use the head match type because that's what we selected in the preceding setting. By checking the required step checkbox on line one, we are ensuring that this funnel only counts visitors who reach the thank you page by having started with the free trial page. To add step two, we clicked the plus goal funnel step and added the URL for checkout.html and another user-friendly name for the step. Clicking save, we now have our goal in place, complete with all the necessary steps defining the funnel. Now, there is another report that shows a similar visualization of your funnel. It's the goal flow report. Going back to standard reporting, expanding conversions, goals, we click on goal flow. This report shows the number of page views as opposed to visitors at each step in the funnel. It is particularly handy because it can show the many circuitous routes people might actually be taking as they explore your website. 